how are you going to avoid the fraying of the tip of your line so most of the time if we don't give care for our lines it will end up this way so in this video guys i will t teach you how to prevent the line from fraying we are going to make a seizing on the tip of the rope so we are going to need a piece of yarn about half meter long this one is short uh, because I am using for the moment a stretchable one uh, so you can use only the ordinary ordinary yarn in this procedure about half a meter so first we hold the tip of the line and we are going to make an eye we are going to make an eye on the tip of the rope just like this make a loop then we are going to start making turns later on here around the tip of the rope until we reach the tip and later on we are going to make a lock which is a double overhand knot or a square knot so now we are going to start now So we will just uh, estimate around from the tip of the rope about uh, one centimeter or two. Then after we make this loop, we are going to make a turn at the tip of the rope turns. So now we almost reached the tip. So the end of this yarn will pass inside the will pass inside the loop. And hold on. And we are going to tighten this other end of the line. We are going to pull until this uh, loop will close and finally we will lock the other end of the line. So we are going to pull. Now it is tightened. And finally for our uh, final lock we are going to make a square knot or double overhand knot on the tip so we'll make an overhand knot now one overhand knot Then another one. 
now we have created we had created the lock now so finally we can cut this extra line So this is seizing on the tip of the line. Now you can prevent from fraying. Now next step guys is to put a duct tape on the tip of your rope. You can use any other tape but for me duct tape is much better because it's more adhesive. Two thorns the tip of your rope is uh, okay strong enough now we are going to cut the back tape Another effective way is to burn the tip of your rope, especially if your rope is synthetic. So you're gonna need a piece of lighter and you're going to burn the tip of your rope. This is not applicable for the fiber rope guys, only for the synthetic rope. Now, your tip is protected. Next step, make a box splice on the tip of your rope. So first, you are going to unravel the tip of your rope. Now we had unraveled the tip of your rope. Now we are going to create a crown for box splice. First, we are going to select the one in the middle, this one. We are going to bend this one, creating a loop. Then this one will pass here and the side of the first strand will pass over to the front and it will pass at the side then this last strand will pass inside of the first loop of the first strand then we are going to tighten all the strand now it is tightened now we created the crown so first step uh, the next step is we are going to tuck the strands one after the other lay so for example this first strand we are going to tuck this one we are going to escape this one and we will tuck here inside the next lay this one we are going to pass over and we will pass here inside So we'll open this other strand. See, we'll leave this one and we'll tap here in the other one. Next lay.
also in the next strand we will leave this one we will escape this one and we will tuck in the next lay then the last strand the same we will skip this one and we are going to tuck in the next lay this one see we will skip this one and we will tuck here same guys continue until we completed all the strand tucking the same procedure skip the next strand then you go and tuck in the next strand after the other one last tuck so now the tip of your rope is free from fraying so another way of protecting the tip of your rope is to create a nice place we are going to unravel unravel the tip of your rope then we are going to create a eye we are going to create an eye so the size of the eye depends on you guys on how big we are going to estimate how big the eye you want to create so first we are going to choose this middle part of the strand and tuck it in the rope now we had tuck the we had tuck the center strand next is this top strand next is this top strand so we will tuck this top strand in the next strand after the first strand so we're going to tuck here we're going to tuck here so we open the strand the lay we open the lay and tuck the strand so this is how it shows now this is the middle and this is the top strand so now the last one the lower part of the strand here We'll tuck in this in this strand, this one. But in the we are going to pass in the other side like this. We'll pass here going out there. We'll open here and we'll tuck and we'll pass in this way. 
I will open this one. Then this strand will pass here. Now we are going to tighten all the strand. <coughs> The next sequence is the same as the back splice. We will tap and the next lay, skipping the other one. We will stuck in the next lay after the other. So this is the next lay. We are going to tuck after the other, so this one, we are going to tuck here. The same, the next one. Uh, skip this one, and we'll tuck in the next lay. The same, the next one. Skip this one and tuck in the next leg. I'll just repeat the procedure, guys, until we finish all. Skip this one, tuck in the next leg. Keep this one back in the next leg. Skip this one. Skip this one. Back in the next leg. Same, skip this one, tuck in the next lay. Uh, this is your eye splice guys now you're ready protect the tip of your line from fraying and at the same time you have a second purpose you have an eye or uh, any other purpose <laughs>